फिफ्टीन डेज बैक वैन निफ्टी वॉज एट एन ऑल टाइम हाई एंड ऑल दीज स्टॉक्स वर नियरली ऑन द राइट साइड ईच एंड एवरी इन्वेस्टर वॉज हैप्पी नॉट बिकॉज देअर पोर्टफोलियो वॉज एट मैक्स वैल्यू बट देर हैप्पी पुटिंग इन मोर मनी बिकॉज निफ्टी वॉज जस्ट गोइंग अप नाउ टूडे वी वर एट ट्वेंटी फोर सेवन हंड्रेड नॉट टू बिग अ फॉल आई डेंट फाइंड अ सिंगल पर्सन हु वॉज हैप्पी सेइंग दैट देर इज एन ऑपरचुनिटी टू एड मनी एट लो लेवल्स and most people are asking for help portfolio is in red and we'll talk about this phenomenon in the nugget section today why the bulls did not make us so rich but the bears have actually robbed us in just two weeks time hi everyone welcome to the episode of 21st october let's find some greens okay here they are zomato which was down most on friday is at the top abb siemens which have been going up like anything for nearly a month they were down most 5.7% for abb siemens 4% and while crude is not going anywhere right now ioc corrected 3% and actually it has not even gone up much and i mentioned this in the friday update also that tata consumer the results were not negative but that will be beaten down by the street it was 10% down very early in the morning the greens in nifty 50 were slightly higher but the gains were not big the tail was long just sectors going down 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 heavy machinery down most followed by software then telecom which is effectively only one stock airtel food and tobacco which is consumption pharma oil and gas metals all popular sectors the reason nifty did not crack was there were two sectors which were up from the big ones automobile and banking and banking also had only one stock outstanding today that was hdfc bank because the results which were deemed good on top of the bad results of previous quarter in the previous year which is why on why results look at the comedy the top sector continues to be investment and banking but aerospace and defense is the number 2 sector in terms of returns has any of you made any money in aerospace and defense i'm talking about last two weeks this is heavy machinery down most today here see of red the sector was down 4% all the greens are suddenly gone persistent results tomorrow that was down 5% now specifically in the case of bajaj auto mr bajaj came and took back the keys from the bears the stock was up 4% and it lifted the entire sector up maruti was up mahindra was up the smaller companies ichr tvs bosch hero the feeder sector madarsan sumi was down because now if auto is going down then there will be less demand for the ancillary last few days the trading range was good but nifty was moving in a single direction today traders would have been happy because nifty was really choppy a range of 1.13% 278 points i didn't change the graphs bank nifty fits the same bill the trading range was even bigger 1.4% and despite that trading range bank nifty down 0.25% nifty down 0.3% that is what volatility does to the index Reliance was doing okay it fell a little in the morning that with nifty but then continuously up above the line hdfc rocketed very early in the day literally with the first tick and then traded in a very narrow range all other stocks were down tcs infosys icici airtel sbi hul itc hcl tech bank nifty versus hdfc bank literally that was the only banking stock nbfc stock up everything else was down only one stock standing that's the power of weightage of hdfc bank see only one stock up look at where indus end is literally getting into negative territory now market cap of it stocks only top 2 3 stocks matter Zomato seesaw continues market is suddenly bearish on persistent the result should come somewhere around 3:45 4 o'clock tomorrow Mazgaon dock was up today also 3% GRSE up 2% no impact of results on Hindustan Zinc down a percent Vedanta down more than 1% some analysts are suggesting that Reliance has priced Kempa Cola very low and that is impacting the volume of Pepsi and Coke across the country that is perhaps what is weighing varun beverages down but in general the consumption pack the edible one is down only for nearly 2 3 weeks now crude price impact asian paints was up today but everything else in non edible consumption also was down finally page industry also is looking a bit weak 2.3% down 
मोतियाल ओसवाल करेक्टेड इन द इन्वेस्टमेंट पैक टूडे सिक्स परसेंट एम सी एक्स गुड रिजल्ट अप वन परसेंट थ्री सिक्सटी वन वॉज अप बी एस सी ए लिटिल बट इन जनरल द इन्वेस्टमेंट पैक वॉज लुकिंग अ बिट बियरिश लुक एट जेम फाइनेंशियल आफ्टर द रेगुलेटरी क्लियरेंसिस दैट इट रिसीव द स्टॉक शॉर्ट अप सेवन एट परसेंट केम डाउन सो मच दैट इट क्लोज सेवन परसेंट डाउन ओवरऑल अबाउट फिफ्टीन परसेंट रेंज फॉर द डे थिंक अबाउट द पीपल हु बॉट अराउंड हेयर आई वॉज वन ऑफ दैम एम आर पी एल क्रैक्स फोर पॉइंट फोर परसेंट इट ओपन नियरली फाइव परसेंट डाउन ह्यूज वॉल्यूम्स ऑटो सेक्टर वॉज लुकिंग गुड टूडे ओला इलेक्ट्रिक कंटिन्यू टू क्रैक टाटा मोटर्स क्रैक्टेड पॉइंट सेवन फाइव परसेंट द टायर कंपनीज वर डाउन बट द व्हीकल मैन्युफैक्चर वर लुकिंग गुड सो टूडे एफ आई आईज हैव क्रॉस द स्कोर ऑफ एटी टू डी आईज आर प्लेइंग अलॉन्ग The indices were all red today except auto which was up 0.4%, Next 50 down 1.4%, IT down 1.3%. Vari Energy, this is actually the sentiment of an IPO is more visible on Instagram than on money control. The issue was subscribed 3.32 times on just day one. Torrent Power which has gone up like a rocket in the last one or two months. That is going for a QIP, 3000 to 4000 crore that is close to half a billion dollars. Alta Tech results were poor, 36% down. Two health insurance companies got SEBI's nod for an IPO. They are late in my opinion. Bajaj Housing, a rare case where post IPO the results are good. Now there is a race going on: gold to 80,000, silver to 1 lakh, and Bitcoin to 70,000. I think silver will win because silver is again up 3% today in the international market compared to the 5% win on Friday. Rupee and Brent are holding their current positions. U.S. markets are looking totally undecided ahead of the U.S. elections. The presidential candidates are doing all crazy things. Today I saw so many pictures of Donald Trump making burgers and selling them at a McDonald's outlet, leaving no stone unturned. Nifty Fifty, thirty-five stocks down, fifteen up. HDFC Bank, Reliance, Bajaj Auto, Asian Paints, M&M up most. What was pulling Nifty down? Kotak, TCS, Infosys, Bajaj Finsurf, Bharti Airtel. Bajaj Finance is also down. This is probably the expectations of results from Bajaj Finance, which will reflect in Bajaj Finsurf as a parent also. Next Nifty was worse today. Forty-two stocks down, eight up. Best was Zomato, JSW, Tata Motors, Bajaj Holding, ICICI Prudential. Now this is comical because this is the granddaddy, and Bajaj Finsurf is the son of Bajaj Holdings. Down most ABB, Siemens, IOC, Mother Sun, Sony, IRCTC. On a day where Nifty does not reflect the sentiment of retail portfolios, I did some shopping and I need a whiteboard today also. It was not buying, and today I sold some family silver, Kotak Bank, Page Industries, ICICI Bank, HUL, HDFC Bank, Satin. Sold a part of our portfolio again. There is still a lot left. I exited Mass Financial. It is a good company. I still haven't lost conviction. The problem is I have lot of long term bonds from Mass Financial, and I didn't want to take a dual risk equity as well as bonds. And I didn't have much losses with Mass Financial, just two percent because the holdings were pretty old. In the short term portfolio, I sold S W Solar, Hindustan Petro from last week, Angel One from last week. Navneet was there actually since last two months. Bad buy. I sold fifty percent of it last week. Remaining also I exited today. What am I going to do with this money? A bit of it went into silver. I bought Bajaj Auto. I bought Jam Financial. So it was a bit comical because I sold Mass Financial at two percent loss, and I thought that I'll recover that two percent from Jam Financial, but that fell from the top about eight nine percent. So what's the plan as of now? Either it will stay in cash or go into silver and gold in some formats. In fact, if I had not bought these stocks in the morning. I would have probably resisted and not bought them. So was that day red or green? Just because of satin, it was red. Otherwise, the profit on these stocks in percentages was pretty good. If your portfolio is resembling the inside of a watermelon, then this nugget section is probably for you. Why we lose more to bears compared to what the bulls give us as returns? Let's suppose you have a stock. Thousand quantity which you bought at hundred, it is at one twenty five right now. You have a profit of twenty five thousand. Good handsome gains. You have another stock thousand quantity bought at hundred. It is currently at seventy five with a profit or loss rather of twenty five thousand rupees. 
यू नीड मनी और यू आर एक्सपेक्टिंग अ क्रैश टुमारो विच वन विल यू सेल इट इज़ नॉट अ टफ डिसीजन मोस्ट ऑफ यू वुड हैव ऑलरेडी थॉट दिस नाइन्टी नाइन परसेंट ऑफ रिटेल हैज द सेम मैंटेलिटी वॉट इफ द ट्रेंड ऑफ लास्ट फाइव डेज हेयर वॉज ग्रीन और दिस सेक्टर वॉज गोइंग अप वाइल दिस स्टॉक हैज बीन ट्रेंडिंग डाउन फॉर अ क्वार्टर और देर इज अ रेगुलेटरी प्रॉब्लम लाइक आई एम फेसिंग विद माइक्रो फाइनेंस इंडस्ट्री राइट नाउ विल योर डिसीजन चेंज इफ दिस लॉस वॉज लेस इन क्वान्टिटी और साइज लाइक टू थाउजेंड फाइव थाउजेंड टेन थाउजेंड मे बी अ स्मॉल परसेंटेज फॉर योर पोर्टफोलियो देन मे बी लार्ज लॉस यू विल नेवर सेल इवन आई रेजिस्ट एट टाइम्स बट आई बुक्ड फॉर एग्जाम्पल अ ह्यूज लॉस टूडे बिकॉज माई फीलिंग इज दैट द वैल्यू ऑफ योर पोर्टफोलियो और योर स्टॉक इज एज ऑफ टूडे वॉट यू इन्वेस्टेड वॉट रैशनल फ्यूचर ऑल दैट इज नॉट एप्लीकेबल गुड बैड अगली टूडे इज द रियलिटी टूडे इफ यू हैड कैश इन हैंड वुड यू बाय दिस स्टॉक और दिस स्टॉक इफ द आंसर इज दिस देन द सेल ऑल्सो शुड बी दिस नॉट दिस और इट नेक्स्ट पॉइंट द बुल्स गो अप द स्टेयर्स वन स्टेप एट अ टाइम द स्टेप्स मे बी लॉन्गर एट टाइम्स दे मे बी शॉर्टर एट टाइम्स द हाइट मे बी बिगर और द हाइट मे बी स्मॉलर दे मे पॉज इन बिटवीन ऑल्सो द प्रॉब्लम विद बियर्स इज दे फॉल लाइक अ नाइफ थ्रोन आउट ऑफ अ विंडो इनफैक्ट फर्स्ट टू थ्री स्टेप्स यू आर ऑलवेज वंडरिंग वेदर द फॉल विल एंड टूडे एंड टुमारो विल बी अ ग्रीन डे वील स्टार्ट गोइंग अप अगेन और नॉट बाय द टाइम अप लिटिल पैनिक लाइक टूडे कम्स इन यू आर ऑलरेडी डाउन फिफ्टीन ट्वेंटी परसेंट विद नो एक्शन टेकन नो लॉस बुक नो पोजिशन लाइट एंड मे बी अ बिट ऑफ एवरेजिंग डन विच मीन्स परसेंटेज लॉस गोज डाउन साइकोलॉजिकली कम्फर्ट बट द क्वान्टिटी एंड पोर्टफोलियो गोज अप विच मीन्स हैंस फोर्थ इफ द फॉल इज देयर देन यू विल ब्लीड इवन मोर सिवियर देन येस्टरडे बाय द टाइम दिस फिनोमिना स्पेसिफिक टू योर स्टॉक सेक्टर पोर्टफोलियो और द मार्केट गेट्स इन टू द सेकेंड वीक यू आर यूजली डाउन एनी वेयर बिटवीन टेन टू ट्वेंटी परसेंट ऑलरेडी ऑल्सो वेन वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट बुल्स मोस्ट ऑफ अस कंटिन्यूसली बुक प्रॉफिट्स सो विद इन दिस रन सपोज दिस रन वॉज इवेंचुअली अराउंड से थर्टी परसेंट आई विल प्रॉब्ली ओनली मेक टेन परसेंट हेयर दिस इज कंप्लीट थर्टी परसेंट एंड इफ यू एवरेज डाउन दिस विल बी इवन मोर सिवियर वन ऑफ द बिगेस्ट रीजन्स वाई वी लूज मोर टू पेयर्स हाउ मेनी ऑफ यू आर फीलिंग रियली गुड रियली स्ट्रॉन्ग रियली जुबलियंट द इंडिया स्टोरी नो डिपेंडेंस ऑन चाइना यू एस एट ट्वेंटी सिक्स थाउजेंड हाउ मेनी ऑफ यू विद द सेम एपेटाइट सेम सैलरी नथिंग चेंज आर फेयरफुल टूडे मोस्ट ऑफ द पीपल हु आर हैप्पी टू एड एस आई पीज एट द स्टेज रेगुलर स्टॉक्स एवरी वीक एवरी मंथ दे आर सडनली शाइंग अवे फ्रॉम इन्वेस्टिंग बियर्स नो वन हैज एनी क्लू वेदर दिस विल एंड टुमारो आफ्टर अ वीक आफ्टर अ मंथ बट येस वी आर इन बियर टेरिटरी हाउ मेन ऑफ यू नेवर रन आउट ऑफ मनी वेन मार्केट वॉज गोइंग अप अराउंड ट्वेंटी सिक्स थाउजेंड एंड टूडे इवन ऑन सेकेंड ऑफ द मंथ थर्ड ऑफ द मंथ नियरली एवरी वन इफ यू आज दैम मार्केट इज डाउन डू वॉन्ट टू no money no one's salary got reduced the appetite has got reduced the risk ability has gone down there is fear the fear was not there at 26000 it is there at 24000 it will get even bigger at 22000 it will get worse at 20000 the volumes will vanish if nifty breaks 20000 the volumes would not have vanished at all if nifty went to 28000 people who have not booked profits while nifty was going up their profits will be virtual it will evaporate if it hasn't evaporated already that is why you would have seen me book profits regularly on certain trades that is why i differentiate between long term and short term specifically now what is my biggest fear why i took out so much money today there are four participants fii's we know they are selling nearing a century mark DIIs we know are buying. They have a per size. They have certain reserves. They can tap into it in emergency cases. They get certain money every month. This money was going up. I have no idea whether it will go down, go up, remain same. My personal expectation is if people are a bit scared, they might not put random money into the DII per at this stage. The SIPs may continue. The owners, for example, Nvidia owners have sold their stock. Still, that is going up. what is that indicating the promoter also feel that the stock prices are going overboard they are also saying it is too much rajiv bajaj today said i am buying from open market the stock immediately went up how many promoters have the conviction and money to buy in falling markets the strong promoters this is me asking for help portfolio all red 
Now the fear part is these guys have bought continuously since pandemic time. They have rescued from FII, they have rescued from pandemic, they have rescued poor companies, broken companies. Even when Hyundai's IPO was failing, the institutions came across and they bought even retail share. Retail was not buying. So this guy was not buying. These guys were buying on his behalf using his money. Now, what will happen if this guy, which is me, goes to DIA and say, give me my money back. I'm scared. I want the money back. They have certain reserves. They replenish it every month. But that is finite. If a lot of people here ask for the money back, they'll have to sell the stocks they hold at market prices. If they bought something at 26,000 and today is 24,000, they will have to sell at 24,000. If this 24,000 is 20,000, they'll sell it at 20,000. This is what leads to spiraling down and lower circuits on the worst days when the beer run ends. I've seen it few times in life. Comfort factors, avoid small caps, the good ones also. The small caps are butchered most in these times, irrespective of their quality. Avoid debt companies which cannot service the debt in bad conditions. Avoid companies where public holding is too high and FIDI holdings is too low, zero or reducing completely. Cash is king. Gold and silver are the emperors. Take this theory with a pinch of salt. This is my personal theory. Reshuffle your portfolio. This is the time to create an ideal portfolio. You might have to sell something bad to buy something good. I feel that is healthy for your portfolio. Thanks for watching. I will see you tomorrow.